Blimey, what are you doing? I'm having a bath. What day is it then? It ain't your birthday, is it? Yeah. Hey, what do you want to go and have a bath tonight for? Of all days you could have picked, what do you want to go and pick the night for? Oh, what's wrong with the night then? Well, I told you this morning, Delia's coming round tonight. Delia! <laughs> I have invited her out of cocktails for we got down bingo. <laughs> and, uh, it ain't customary for a bird to meet a blood spider stuck in a bath. You just have to get out, that's all. I've just got in. Well, you just have to get out again. Look, I'm no point in arguing about it. I don't want Delia to see my dad stuck in front of the fire in a tin bar. <laughs> Other people don't live like that, Dad. Not anymore. Those days are gone. Well, you stand your own way to Oscar back here. Look, I told her not to expect the palace, but I didn't say nothing about scruffy old gits having a bath in front of the front dining room. Bring down a whole town of the place, straight away. There's a social stigma these days. Oh, you might as well have the horse sitting in the armchair and have done with it. <laughs> we haven't got much here, but we have got an atmosphere. I'm sure you see my point of view, Dad. When I introduce Delia to you and you shake hands, whether you stand up or sit down, it's going to be rude out of work. <laughs> Finished. When's she coming? About a quarter of an hour. Do you think you'll be finished? Well, I might be if you give me a hand. You're not being very helpful, are you? All right, what do you want me to do? Go and get another kettle of hot water. It's getting parky in here. <laughs> well, go on, it's on the gas. All right, but hurry up. Oh, what a way to live. You bath in the bath and you eat your dinner at the dinner table. You're getting worse, you are. Come on, give him a zeal. Come on. Uh, yeah. Oop, there's another one here. Not on, <laughs> not on the floor. Yeah, you can worse in your mother boys, you are. Look, we've got a dustbin outside. That's to put all your scraps and rubbish in. What do you think they come round every Tuesday for? To empty it. I don't need to bother anymore. There's never anything in her. It's all in here. You're getting finicky all of a sudden, aren't you? Oh, yes, I am finicky. Yes, when it comes to something like this, I'm finicky. You wouldn't have told me about them onions, would you? <laughs> you wouldn't have told me that I'd been in your bath water. <laughs> You'd have sat there and watched me eat them, and you wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> Not going to do you any harm, are they? Been soaking water. Anyway, there was only in there for a couple of seconds. What's that got to do with it? I felt to see your reasoning. Look. Pickled onions in vinegar. In vinegar. Not soap and water. If I want my onions to taste of... This is not only besides the point, it's irrelevant. But whichever way you look at it, to fish pickled onions out of your bath water and put them back in the jar is an act of extreme dirtiness. <laughs> dirty, dirty. <laughs> Come on, dirty. I haven't got that bath. Deal you'll be here soon. I've never been pudding yet. Never mind what you're pudding. <laughs> oh, don't you tell me to hurry up. You're the ones always on about me having a bath. Now, I mean, I'm going to stay and I'll finish. Here, come on, get that water in. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who do you like 
you should have your new spoken out of the bog, mate. Hey, you scolded my ass. Nah, I wasn't not enough to scold you, me. What about this shot? Cold water like that might kill an old man like me. <laughs> I'll go and put another kettle of water on. <laughs> well. Ooh, that's better. Circulating round now. Yeah, it gets me good, will it? <laughs> else I can do for you, a oh, wise one. Yeah. You can hang that up for me. <laughs> there is no excuse for this sort of thing. I know I ain't got a washing machine, but you can take them round to the laundrette. Take them to the laundrette. I can't. That's the only pair I've got. I am sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting around in a laundrette with no pants on now. Not me, mate. Yeah, you hang them up. I want him dry for the morning. <laughs> oh, he is revolting. Ooh. Now, keep quiet. I want to get my bow tied, don't I? Mm -hmm. These fast thoughts don't half take long time dissolving. <laughs> no, no. Right over left. And cross. Pull back. Come and give me back a scrub, will you? Right <laughs> over left. Harold. Pull back. No, we're... Oh, dear me. I can't reach me back. Neither can you. Harold! <laughs> Do you mind, Dad? I'm having a little difficulty with my bow tie. Well, I can't get my hands around. You'll get my hands around your neck in a minute. What did you say? Now, don't you talk to me like that. You're not too old. I'll take my foot round your backside. For the God's sake, Dad, don't keep talking like that. Those days are gone. Please, don't make a book of yourself. You ain't old enough to worry me anymore, mate. And if you do... I shall pull those dirty little toes of yours and have you under the water before you can look round. Now, keep quiet. All I wanted was me back, Scrub. You wouldn't think that'd be too much to ask for your own flesh and blood? <laughs> my old dad was bedridden. Oh, God. <laughs> I had to 
do everything for him. For the last eight years of his life, I had to carry him everywhere. In and out of the bed, in and out of the lavatory, up and down the stairs, I had to do everything for him. I used to lie awake at night, afraid to go to sleep in case he called me and I wouldn't hear him. That's the sort of son I was. Me. Oh, they wanted me back scrubbed. <laughs> All right, you want your back scrubbed, do you? Right. You want your back scrubbed, do you? What are you going to do? I'll scrub you all back for you, mate. Come on. 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 It's raw. Where's the colour of my lotion? Where did I get a son like you? <laughs> It's her. It's Delia. Hey, come on, hurry up, get up, get up to bed. You bet you can't move. Will you get up? Nigga, she can't come in and see you in the nude. Hey, come on, come on, put that round you. Come on, get up. Yeah. If you don't get up to bed, I'll, I'll, I'll take your teeth away. Yeah, you think it's tough, don't you? I'll get you one day. Get up to bed. <laughs> You've got bad blood in me. Nobody'd blame you. <laughs> I'll creep in one night and what up? You'll get a half a yard of gas pipe right across your throat. You wanna what it you? Right across your throat. And don't forget my cocoa. <laughs> <laughs> Could you come in? I thought there was no one in. I've been knocking the door down. That's why I was just getting the ice out of the fridge for the cocktails. Oh. Do go in. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Would you uh, care for a drink? Uh, yes, I'll have a Manhattan. Beg pardon. Oh. <laughs> a Manhattan. Oh. <laughs> Whiskey. <laughs> Come in. Come in. Hello, <laughs> Moss. Come in. That's a bit of. <laughs> that is a very attractive dress you're wearing, my dear. It's very charming. It ought to be. Knocked me back 20 quid. I only got it on today. Ah, oh, yes. It's always worth paying for quality. To us. <laughs> what are you put in this? Oh, God. Oh, oh Slinderman. That's him again. <laughs> no, 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 no. You'll be all right. I'll get you a glass of water. You try and be sick. Put your fingers down your throat. <laughs> Oh, 
you got? This is all I went out for. What do you mean? You heard me. This is what I went out for, and this is what I'm back with. Look, mate, just because you collected one bar don't mean you can retire. Yeah, this won't fetch much. It's not for fetching, it's for using. Eh? We're not going to flog it, this is for us. What do we want a bar for we got, bar, already? I tell you, mate, I am not going for a recurrence of what happened in there last night. I have never been so humiliated in all my life. I tell you, when Delia disappeared into your bath water, I could have died. <laughs> well, I've always been a bit cheery about people knowing we bathed in the front room. But well, I never ever thought they'd find out by falling into the bleeding. <laughs> right, we're going to have a proper bathroom with running water and bath mats and that. No more of uh, that uh, ladling the water in and then ladling it out again back into the kitchen, mate. We're going to have plumbing uh, and pipes uh, and, and things uh, and plug holes. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to cost a bit, is it? Putting a bath in. Pipes and drains and all that lot. Where are we going to put it? We haven't got a bathroom. You haven't thought of that, had you? <laughs> you haven't thought of that. That's the trouble with you. You get these big ideas... Look, Dan, and you... I have thought about it. I've thought about it for a long time. I know exactly how much it's going to cost. I know exactly where it's going. I've got it all in my mind's eye. Oh, well, where, Dan? Go on, where? We have a dining room, a kitchen, your bedroom and my bedroom. Nothing more. It won't go in the lavatory even if you stand it up. <laughs> that leaves the stable and out here in the yard. And I ain't sleeping in the stable, not with no horse. Yeah, I ain't mixing with animals, nor out in the yard either. I ain't sleeping out here either. Have you done? Have you finished? I mean, can I get a word in? Well, I only wanted to know where it was going to go. Well, I'll tell you where it's going. In your bedroom. Eh? <laughs> hey? Yes, so there it is. You're getting out and the bath's going in. <laughs> Yeah, not having my bedroom. I don't ask much from most of this life, but I've placed the lady here, it's one of them. You ain't getting my bedroom. Not that, be reasonable. You admit it yourself, there's nowhere else that can go. Well, about your bedroom. You're the one that wants the bath. Do what you like in your bedroom, but leave mine alone. My bedroom's no good. You see, it's a question of plumbing, the rise and the fall. And well, we haven't got it on my side of the house. Your bedroom's the only place it can go. It's right under the system. It's very regrettable, but there it is. <laughs> and may I ask, where do you intend bunging me? I'm not bunging you anywhere. I'm transferring you. All right, go on. Where? Well, there's our little cupboard under the stairs. I ain't no cupboard under the stairs. What do you think I am, a bleeding mouse? <laughs> there's no need to be difficult. It's not as bad as all that. Have you seen that little cupboard under the stairs lately? I was very surprised at how warm and airy it is. Very roomy, very cosy. I think you like it. I don't intend to find out whether I like it or not. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Under the stairs in my own house. Oh, look, Dad, look at it this way. I, now, I suppose it's octocorns. What happens then? Where is it? There he is, under the stairs in the car. But, Dad, it won't look like a cupboard. I'll do it up for you, just like Barry's house. There's all that matchboard in and I can make it look quite from on side. What about where it slopes down to nothing at one end? Well, your feet can go at that end. <laughs> You're looking for snags now, aren't you? You're only a little bloke, you know. You don't need much room. In any case, you don't need much room in a, in a bedroom. Look. You get that door closed in the winter, you'll be well away. You won't want to come out after a while. I won't be able to get out. <laughs> if you're going to be difficult, there's no point in arguing about it. I have said my say. I have made you a perfectly good offer. I'm willing to do up the box room under the stairs. Oh, it's a box room now, is it? Look, I'll, I'll put electric light in and a little bit of... Carpet down for you, wall to wall. You'll be very comfortable then. <laughs> you might have to get up a bit early on Thursday morning when a bloke comes out to read a gas meter, but apart from that, you'll be completely self-contained. And if you was to choose some night light pastel shades on the walls, it'd make the room seem a lot bigger. You are not having my bedroom. I'll be quite frank with you, Dave. 
I'm not prepared to go on living any longer in a house without a bathroom. I don't think you realise how degrading it is. It's uncivilised. And God blimey, the Greeks had baths 2,000 years ago. <laughs> and here we are, 1963, the affluent flatulent society never had it so good. <coughs> Do you realise that there are four million houses in this country without bathrooms? Four million, Dave. Oh, that don't include the poor devils who ain't even got a house. <laughs> well, they ain't gonna degrade me no longer, mate. They aren't looking down on me no more. The great unwashed, that's what we are, mate. The great unwashed. <laughs> but not any longer, cos I'm gonna build my own bathroom. I'm not waiting for them, Dad. We got dignity, Dad. The facilities to bathe one's person should be the inherent right of all men. <laughs> So there it is. Either we put a bathroom in, or I shall be forced to consider the question of my future living accommodation. Now you think about it. Well, I'm getting your stuff out. <laughs> and another thing. Don't go putting your horse liniment in my whiskey. Ah, <laughs> oh, Sims. Yeah. He thinks I'm going to spend my life under the stairs. He's another thing coming. Hello! Get out to put on a bigger door. I can't go creeping in and out of there every night. Oh, I'll never manage it. Hello, Dad. Cleaning your room up. That's the start. Look, what about that door? Oh, that. Oh, yeah. So we'll rip that all out. We'll put glass bricks all up the side. Don't you worry about it. I'll get around to it when I've done the bathroom. Yeah. Hey, hello. It should have done my room first. Yes, well, I'll get around to it. I'll get around to it. It's not good enough you'll get around to it. I should come first. I'll give up my bedroom. You should have started my bedroom before your bathroom. How long are you going to take to do the bathroom? I don't know. A couple of days, I suppose. A couple of days? I ain't sleeping in that cupboard for a couple of days unless it's done up. Have you seen the state it's in? Full of spiders and things. <laughs> that should do the trick. We should get the right number of firms out of that. Mind out! There's one thing I can't stand is spiders. Harold! You know I don't like spiders. Harold! You hear me? Put some frogs in there. That'll get rid of them. Frogs! I'm giving frogs jumping all over me bedroom. Harold! I want me room back. Oh. Let go! Don't you realise, the longer you delay me, the longer it'll be before I get your room finished. Now be patient, it won't be long. Come on, give us a hand up the stairs with us. Good. Right, mash him out of my bedroom, haven't you? Well, I've finished yet, is it? You wait till it's finished. Come here. Look. This is what it is going to look like. This is the one I'm copying. I got it out of home and beauty. <laughs> Are you making this? Look like that. Yeah. Hey, quite simple. Look. I'm going to block the bath in with this, you see, like this. Then I'm going to put that plastic padding around it, you know, quilted. See, uh, tiles is now good now. Oh, no, no, no. The uh, trend is definitely away from tiles. It's too clinical. There ain't no parts in that picture. That's why I'm going to box them in, aren't I? What about the geese, then? I'll box that in, and all. I ain't going to turn it on, no. I'll put a little door in it. <laughs> Needs air to it. Get hot in there. Liable to go on fire. Then I'll put little air holes in it, won't I? Well, I don't see the point of putting air holes and doors on it if you're going to box it in. Look, if you're just going to stand there knocking, you might as well clear out. Go on, go and clean your cupboard up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is all in pink. You ain't got a pink bar. Well, I can paint it, can't I? There's lots of water resistant paints about. Anyway, suppose I don't want it in pink. I don't have to blindly follow their colour scheme, you know. Here you go. Watch this. What? Now. Oh, that. Oh, yes. Well, that's what their friends call a bigot. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one of them before. What's it for? Well, it's a sort of a small bath. It's for washing your feet in before you get into the big bath. So as you won't make the water dirty for washing your face. It's very handy. You haven't mind them in here, yeah? Oh, yes. I think a bead that is very essential to a well-appointed bathroom. I'm leaving space for one. If I can find one on the round, I'm going to bang it in. It'd be very elegant, then. Eh? Down to a penny it won't work. Nothing you touch ever works. You can't even bang a nail in. Oh, that's typical, isn't it? I know, help. No encouragement. Always knocking. <laughs> Yet you'll be the first one in when it's finished, won't you, every yeah. three months? Go on. Go on, run along. <laughs> Clean your room out. <laughs> I live here with my dad. Mm. <laughs> Do come in. Oh. It looks like a junkyard. Oh, really? It, it, it's quite nice inside. It's more what you might call a muse cottage with stables. <laughs> Do go in for a cocktail. Well, what about your dad? Oh, he'll be all right. We won't disturb him. Oh, look, there's a light on in the bathroom. He must be up there having a bath, because we got a bath, you know. <laughs> oh, that's... He's always bathing my dad. He's bath mad. Oh, well, if you think it'll be all right... Oh, yes. He'll go straight to bed after his bath. Do go in. Another one. Oh, I'm not a bitch. Oh. <laughs> if you want a bath, I put the kettle on. Good night. <laughs> 